Hey everybody, it's Tanner here with Adulting Life Skills, uh, coming at you with a new house project. Right behind me, we just finished up some closet storage this weekend, which means we need to tackle our closet door. Um, we bought a plantation style uh, bifold door, uh, very easily to install, just went ahead and did one of them. We're going to make a video for this one. A um, couple things we're going to need to get started. Uh, first is going to be a drill, uh, obviously make sure batteries charge. Make sure you give it a few clicks. Always gotta do that, make sure it's working. Next, we're gonna need some drill bits. We got those right here. Um, I always like to have a straight edge and a level with me. You don't really need, you can really eyeball this if you wanted to. I'm very anal about all this stuff, so I like having both of these handy, which means we'll obviously need a pin and we'll need a tape measure. Now, these plantation style doors, um, they typically come in pretty standard sizes. 24, I believe, is the smallest, um, then going up to 30. Uh, I think then it goes to 32 and 36, and then uh, the rest of them are pretty much custom. Um, this guy right here, you'll see this is going to be a 30 inch opening. Now, not uh, you're gonna find in every house, not every wall is straight, not every opening is exact. Um, like this one right here. This right here is going to be about 30 and a quarter inches. So obviously it's a quarter inch too big, which is fine. It's going to have a little gapping on the side. The biggest thing we want to do is just make sure that gapping is even. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and take this top track right here. This top track is obviously what goes on the top of the door right here. Now you need to decide, obviously a bifold door is going to have two sides and you got to decide which way you want it to pivot, whether you want to open it from this side, and open it this way or open it from this side and open it this way now it's hard to see from where you guys are at but in this little corner tucked in back here I do have a water softener so what I'm gonna decide to do I want my bifold door to actually open this way so I'm gonna make sure you're gonna see right here um, that's gonna be your pivot point right there that's gonna be your stationary point so what I want to do is I want to make sure my stationary point is going to be right here on this side meaning the opening is going to come this way. So what I'm going to go ahead and do now is I'm going to go ahead and find what I like to do. And you, again, you don't have to do this exactly, but what I like to do is find my middle point right here, draw a nice straight line all the way across. And then what I can do is I can line this up evenly and make sure it's flush all the way across. Uh, all the way across. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. So I went ahead and got my, my straight line drawn and I went ahead and I drew, I went drilled some pilot holes into all three um, locations where the screws are going to go. Like I was saying before, that is not necessary, um, but it does make for um, it to be easier for the screws to go in. Make sure the pilot hole that you do drill is not very big. Obviously, if the pilot hole is bigger than the screw that you're putting in, it's not going to work and the screw is not going to grab. So a nice small pilot hole get it started, screw will go in nicely. And I went ahead and put one screw in, I put it in where the pivot's gonna be right here, meaning that the other two still need to go in, but once you have one in, you can go ahead and use that straight line that you that you went ahead and made, and you can go ahead and put the other two in, which I'm gonna go ahead and do right now. And then throw these bad boys in. One, make sure everything's nice and level. All right. Okay. So everything's in there. Everything looks nice. Um, spacing looks even on both sides. Uh, we should be good. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and bring you guys down here, and we're going to go ahead and do the one down at the bottom. All right, guys, we're down here now. Um, so this little guy right here, this is going to be where your pivot point goes at the bottom. Um, so again, that um, that's where it's going to be stationary. Um, and we just got to make sure this is going to line up directly straight up with the pivot point at the very top. All right. So what I like to do, again, this should all, obviously all be the same length up and down but you know like I said nothing is ever perfect in a house so what I'm gonna do so 
that is right at five inches right there just a little shy actually or actually just at five inches so what I will do is I will make a mark exactly at the halfway point right there which is going to be two and a half inches just make a little inconspicuous mark with my pen at two and a half so that should be the dead center point right in the right there and then what we can do is we can take our straight edge just take that right there and make that mark right in the middle um, but what I'll do is I'll obviously put it down a little bit lower um, so it won't be able to be seen so we'll go ahead and make sure that's straight okay make a little mark right there okay so that little mark right there should be where this center right here will go right there okay so again we can go ahead and drill a couple pilot holes if you wanted to but I'm gonna go ahead and just for speed purposes, we're going to go ahead and just put this bad boy right in. Top track is in, pivot point is where it needs to be, wherever your choice, left or right side, and the bottom pivot point is on that same side. All that is connected, now we can go ahead and start with the bifold door, the plantation style bifold door that we have. So, your top portion of the bifold door is going to have these little guys, I'm going to tilt it towards the camera, so you can see them right there. These guys right here, that's going to be the top of your door. Um, again, one side is going to go into this hole up here where the pivot point is, and the other is going to be able to move freely along the track, which allows the door to open and close. So, the last thing that we need to install is on the opposite side of this. Um, so the opposite side of the pivot point comes a little pivot screw that's going to go in the bottom of this door. Um, let's go ahead and install that little pivot screw. Now the pivot screw can be adjusted. Um, the directions call for leaving one inch on the outside, uh, which is what we're going to do. And then we can adjust higher or lower when we need to, to adjust the gapping if need be. Let's go ahead and do that now. All right, we have the pivot screw right here. Um, we again want to make sure it's going to go on this side, um, whatever it's got to be on the side that you want the pivot to be. So let's go ahead. Just an easy screw in right here. Uh, let's see, that looks like about an inch. Let's see if I was right. Oh man, on the nose, I'm good. All right, we're ready to install this door. Again, these pivot points at the top, the ones that have the springs in them, these are obviously gonna be at the top. That stationary pivot point at the bottom that we just installed is going to stay down there. Now, one thing that we need to be very, very careful of is when we install this is that bottom pivot point down there. Obviously, if you have hardwood floors like I do, making sure we're keeping it off the ground and making sure we're not scratching up everything, um, which would be no fun. So let's go ahead and get this going. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and tilt the door at a slight angle, and we want to go ahead and get this top pivot point in um in there and we can get into the stationary pivot point all right in there there it was in there in there well now we'll go ahead and get the one that moves in there as well so both are in now we're going to go ahead and start pushing this door back all right so the door is not moving meaning that we we have a uh, uh too much down here at that pivot point so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and go down there. I'm going to go ahead and tighten it a little bit, making that one inch smaller so we can go ahead and get this door in. All right. Let's go ahead. I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, guys. So the door is up. You'll see all the gaps are nice and straight, exactly how we want them to be. Um, unfortunately, I did have to take a little extra time. One thing that I did notice is this part of the wall right here is actually out towards us more 
in this part of the wall. So the, the so the actual door frame actually goes at a slight angle. Yes, very frustrating, but it's stuff we encounter, especially in older homes. Um, so what you do, what you really have to do is once you get everything plumbed and aligned, obviously make it as straight as possible to start off with, and then adjust where need be. So this bar is actually starting out a little closer to the front, and it's actually going at a slight angle. You wouldn't be able to tell from looking at it right here, but it is, it is um, slightly off angled, but it does make the door look straight, which is the most important thing. Um, the last thing that we do need to do is to install the handle. Um, to install the handle, obviously we want it on the side that's gonna open. They have two red dots, depending on where you chose the door to have the pivot point. We chose the pivot point to be here for it to open this way. Um, so we'll go ahead and uh, do that. Um, what we are going to do is we are going to take a 3 16 inch drill bit, which is what is required. And we're gonna go right on to this red dot right here. And start drilling very slowly, making sure it's nice and even. And we're in. And we're through. All right. In and we're through. So, what we'll do, take the handle. The screw is going to go on the back. through, and through, take a knob, pull the screw from the back, you can use, it is a Phillips head screw, depending on which model you have, hold it, hold it there, tighten this up nicely, and you have a handle, and we are done, opens and closes smoothly, and we're good to go. Make sure guys like and subscribe adulting life skills for more how to's, life hacks, cooking skills, anything and everything adulting. Thanks guys. Thanks for tuning in. See you soon.